There's this scene in Home Alone 2 where Joe Pesci gets his head set on fire by a blowtorch and uh, it's in a bathroom and he does this handstand on the bathroom because his head's on fire and he's panicking and he slowly dunks himself into uh, the water of a toilet and it's revealed that the toilet was actually filled with gasoline. Now I tell this story because the first time I saw that scene I saw it uh, during Christmas with my uncle and my uncle remarked as soon as Joe Pesci did that, oh, that's just physically impossible. Nobody could do that. And for my whole life, I kind of set out to prove that wrong. So I had, this, I had this thought in my head that, you know, well, that's what my uncle thinks is physically impossible. I got I to gotta go past that. And every time someone would say something like that to me, it would encourage me to uh, work to that level, right? So when I was telling like uh, my mom that you know that Bruce Lee used to do you know fingertip push-ups, which I don't actually know is true or not. I haven't actually studied Bruce Lee. I'm sure he could have, but I told my mom that Bruce Lee used to do push-ups on just his fingertips and thumbs, and my mom said, "Well, that's not possible. Your your body is too heavy for your fingers." Or uh, you know, my dad was in the Marines, and he said, uh, "You can't." do a consistent amount of one-armed push-ups with your legs together and that one actually had <laughs> probably probably a little more true than the other ones but like when someone would tell me something was impossible I would really seek to prove that it, it was possible especially with like physical feats of athleticism just because I was a super energetic child and then Growing into a teenager, I started really getting into this thing called shonen anime, especially like Yu Yu Hakusho and, to a lesser extent, Dragon Ball Z. But it's those types of shows that really encouraged me to be physical, to get into fitness and things like that when I was younger, when I was 12 or 13. They're the ones that encouraged me to run, to uh, actually get some exercise, things like that. Um, more specifically, like, uh, between, like, Yu Yu Hakusho and, like, pro wrestling, that's what got me into sports at all, and even to this day, I'm not big into any sport that involves, like, throwing a ball of any type, but I adore combat sports, neither here nor there, but there was this, uh, documentary, it just came out on Verve, or I don't know if it just came out, but I just watched it on Verve, and it's about Mike Daniels, who is a NFL player. And it's not very long. You can watch it in like 10 or 15 minutes. But it's about Mike Daniels, who is a professional NFL player. And a lot of the same thing. When he was a kid, he was super into Dragon Ball Z. And uh, it was that like attachment to shonen shows like that that encouraged him to work harder, to you know raise his power level or whatever. And even to this day, anime is helping him keep himself on his physical game. And it also is a way that he can uh, watch shows with his wife and kids, which is, you know, that's nice. It's just nice for families to have things to do together like that. But I think there is a lot of power in trying to overcome limits people set for you. And because of those things that my uncle said to me, and uh, then later on proving when I was a little older that, no, I, I definitely can do handstand push-ups. That's a thing I can do quite a few of. So when I learned that I could do that, it was about expecting how and figuring out how I could overcome obstacles people thought you know couldn't be overcome. So that translates into when I was in the Army, uh, you know, you do a lot of, not a lot of, but every once in a while, like a couple times a year, you'll have like these obstacle courses where they're like, you know, th there's the regular army obstacle course everybody's familiar with, like where there's a wall and you climb over the wall and you low crawl under, you know, barbed wire, that sort of thing. But then we have like these weird ones where it's like, we have like these, this tower that's like two logs and like a log stretched across it. And then there's like a big wall in the middle of that. And you have to climb up one end of the log shimmy over to the wall, find a way over the wall, and then shimmy to the other side and then go down it. And those were a lot more interesting because they were much, much more difficult, but also because you had to work together as a team to do them. And um, then there's like challenges that are like, uh, if you've ever done like Tough Mudder or uh, the Spartan Sprint, 
where it's like you, you, you're going like a mile or in Tough Mudder's case, like I think it's like eight miles or something like that. You're running a really long distance or in some cases not that far distance, but there's these weird obstacles. Like Tough Mudder has this one where you're like crawling through this black building, like this dark building that has like these dangly electric wires. And if you touch them, you get shocked. There's this one where you have to jump into ice cold water and then swim underneath a barrier so you just get drenched in ice cold water sending you into shock it's a lot of fun i love that stuff i just love these physical feats of athleticism just to prove that it's a thing that i can do you know uh, that's why i enjoy uh physical activity so much is, is proving and finding my own limits just to see what i can or can't do you know everybody wants to like look their best or whatever, but I'm probably never able to compete on Mr. Universe or whatever. I'm never gonna be that big or that uh, that defined in the way I look, but I am super proud of all the physical feats of athleticism that I can do. So when I watch a show like, oh, like My, My Hero Academia that's out right now, there's this scene where Deku, um, after, after he'd been doing his training with All Might moving trash, off of the beach, that was his whole training. <laughs> his whole training montage was just him cleaning, doing some public service to a, to a beach. But there's this scene where like he looks at his body and he went from being like, you know, skinny Japanese kid to like super ripped. And like, I've always thought that scene was kind of goofy because uh, like, did he, did he just never look at his body in between now and then? Is, and he, he's impressed now, he's impressed now that he's looking at his body because All Might told him to. He never, he never saw himself in the mirror or anything. But I think that's a really cool, powerful type of scene because if you've ever been there, like you've, you've been at a place where you couldn't do something and then you worked at it until you could, that's such a powerful motivator. And shonen anime is, you know, big shocker, not the most deep or plot heavy or cerebral type of storytelling. But those types of scenes keep drawing me to it because I love watching people overcome what they thought were their, their limits. I love watching these scenes where people have to better themselves through physical effort. And you know, that's actually my, one of my big contentions with, with Naruto, which is a show that I'll probably never finish because I didn't like it that much because my favorite character, the character that worked harder than everybody else, just uh, lost. Didn't matter how hard he worked. He wasn't good enough. He was, he was on their level, sure, but he just kept losing. He, was never, he, he never overcame those limits. Anyway, that's not here nor, here nor there. This isn't to discuss Naruto. But on the flip side of that, I really like it when there's a show like uh, Megalobox, where, where in one, on the one hand, it's also just this big send-up to Tomorrow's Joe, which is, I adore. It's a, it's a great boxing anime with... Uh, <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of great history behind it, and there's a lot of love in Japan for that particular, for that particular show, but Megalobox has this character where, okay, so the premise is that it's, it's a, this universe where people wear uh, like these robotic arms and then they go boxing, and there's this guy that's going to fight these basically androids with his bare hands, and I love that premise because you you understand his limitations inherently and you know you get to see some of the the stuff that he was incapable of doing at the beginning and it's through effort and diligence and just uh raw reserves of power and the indomitable human spirit as hokey and corny a premise as that is that he gets to overcome that and be this really strong character that's uh going toe to toe with physically superior individuals and that's just uh that's just really cool to me that's a that's a thing I like to see in shows because it is so relatable that's a thing that is not out of reach for anybody anybody can find their own limitations and then work to overcome them it doesn't matter who you are like if you have the capability of doing something physically then you have the capability of bettering yourself physically and even when it's like stupid inane stuff, like I'll, I'll splice in some, some video of me doing some, some physical stuff that I'm mildly proud of. But even like with all the stuff I'm doing there, 
like that doesn't matter. It doesn't really aid my life in any meaningful way. Like it's not like I'm gonna go stop a bank robbery by doing one finger push-ups at the robbers or something or anything like that. But to me, that stuff is really important. That stuff that I thought was impossible or that stuff that I was told was impossible or stuff that I was told that I would never be able to train hard enough to obtain and I did. And that's like this thing for me that I can obtain anything if I just work hard enough at it. There's, it's, it's the state motto of Oklahoma, labor conquers all things. And I, I believe in that so strongly that if you work hard enough at something, if you work yourself just a little harder, 1% harder every single day, then you can overcome whatever your perceived limitation is. And that's why I love shonen anime, even though, you know, the plots are never really all that great, even, even with ones I like a whole lot. The plots are pretty dumb. Love My Hero Academia, but the plot is pretty darn silly, guys. It's, it's just basically a big tournament of quirks at this point. Vigilantes is much better. Go read the manga. Anyway, until next time, guys, stay hungry.